<laughs> Alright, don't say those words. Yeah. Not, oh, it's not, him! Not, not for a little bit. It's him! Oh, it's Snack. Okay, I'm still on push to talk. Oh, hey, hey how are up? you? That's what you meant by it's him. I had no idea what the hell you meant. <laughs> hey, you're at your streamer mode. Soul. Everything is so loud. All my settings are fucked. <laughs> Let me turn you up, you real soul. How's it going, dude? How you been? Oh, it's been okay. I just got a new mic, so everything's like off. Just a little bit. Yeah, you're like. I mean, you. You're like these guys are gooning out too much. You don't sound like not trash, watching the game, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, always a plus. It's like, are you are you not like garbage? Yeah, that's perfect. Man. You're good. Yeah. All right, perfect. Mm. All right, see, this is the classic matchup right here. Pika P. This is actually not a great matchup for Snake. If you would have yeah. Pikachu. Much. Definitely not. It's like a weird matchup though, because you'll see it on like matchup charts, or I know Sensei mm -hmm. himself says that he thinks this matchup's even, which I like can and can't see at the same time. I, you know what? I, I, I can see. Uh, that's actually funny. That's always like the uh, people talking about matchups for characters that they don't play, and then you have the char the players who like they believe in their character, and they're just like, it's like, nah, bro, you actually do not understand these inc these intricacies as I blow myself up. All right, it's even. Yeah. I swear. Classic. But I mean, hey, Sensei. If anything, he's making a case for it because he's right now up. He got the first kill. Yeah, it kind of like it reaches this point where, yeah, Pikachu is gonna like bully you for so long, but Snake's at 153 and Pikachu's gonna die at 80 yeah. to uh, an up tilt that Sensei liberally throws out. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it's it. gonna explode, so it's just like, you know, it's about the balances. Yeah, and, you know, might as well punish the only weakness that Pikachu has. <sighs> Alright, but Mouse Ride evening up the stocks here. 74 is not the best deficit, especially with a character that deals as much damage as Snake. But, if you know, Pikachu's definitely slippery and can kind of pinpoint. And he's doing a pretty alright job right now. Yeah, it's coming along pretty well nicely. Like, Pikachu's low percent combos always end in... You get 40 and a ledge trap situation. Ooh. So, like, damage piles on as he makes it back. Boom. All right, not enough. Actually, kind of surprising. Kind of felt like... Yeah, especially on Smashville. Well, Smashville has a high ceiling. It's the same as Town. I, oh, I did not somewhat know that. recently oh, learned that. Hey, Grinnington. All right, so I saw a snake on the stream, so yeah, I'm about to talk right, about why doesn't have to this cap. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead, dude. Because... Nah, I, I think it's even. <laughs> oh, you think it's even too? Interesting. Yeah, I think it's even. Okay. Yeah. All right, so yeah. yeah, Pikachu's big enough to get those, which is a really whack thing for Pikachu because she's kind of Pikachu's kind of light to get like get those F2 combos. I'm pretty sure you know about that. It's the same thing with Squirtle. Pretty sure getting grabbed at like 125 and dying is kind of whack. Oh, oh, oh! Holy! He just went for it. My son. It's the most to kill Sage thing I've seen. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> yeah, it makes, yeah. It yeah. makes a lot of sense though. Like, a lot of times you'll see Mouse Rat like wait a moment when he's thrown off stage like that and try and set up a quick attack angle that's usually a lot harder to punish but you know sensei's like a, m a masher pure and thorough so <laughs> just going for that my man's yeah. mashes he's bullshit yeah he 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 kind of knew he was gonna um yeah, he try to set it. up a quick attack yeah i sometimes do this I, I, I sometimes do the same thing but i'd I rather just go with the back here because it's active and active moves are kind of like what beats pikachu's quick attack yep I absolutely really do forward there but I mean, it's like if he wants to works. run around, you just put something out there and he's going to just like run into the stop sign. Yeah. And Snake's oh. back air is active enough. I feel like that's one thing people don't use. Like, they don't. Snake's back air and down air is very good for stuff not those quick attack. It's it's Link and Air on Snake back air. Like, yeah, I it's, think it's, it's still like frame seven and lasts yeah, for 20 frames. It's a frame slow, it's a frame slower, but it lasts forever. 
Oh, okay. Didn't get anything out of the footstool, but it was cute. Yeah, there it is. I heard it, but I didn't see who it trampling on. Alright, my son trying to smoke him early. That's I mean when this is this is how you know that sensei's feeling himself. Cause he just goes for dumb stuff. Like after I I, I DM'd him after he's lost to um uh, the K rule player, I forgot his name. Or, uh, yeah. Wait, the uh, one that's King in the finals right now? Yeah, the one in Grand's right now. King Ant. Uh, yeah. King Ant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I told him to stop rolling in, because it's all he did that set. <laughs> yeah. And I guess he's taking me to heart, because he's instead nice. not rolling at all. <laughs> he was like, yeah, a, say it, no more. It's a very bad habit that Snakes have. They like to roll in, try to just roll in and get it uh, up tilt. I mean, it's, Damn, it's the charge-up animation. I'm yeah. happy you take that much, uh, that you really consider what I say that much. He <laughs> just stopped using an option entirely. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, that was a good back air. I thought he was gonna air dodge to the platform. But my son decided to match his energy. Uh, he's really, I don't know if he's doing it intentionally, but he's really good job getting under those, uh, oh my god. What is going on? He's doing a good job getting under those thunder jokes and not letting Pikachu, or it, it is Pikachu, but I feel like Mouse Rat, the only one that plays a snatch up as slow as other Pikachu and likes to like try to camp. And my son Sensei's all over Duke. Mouse Rat just plays slower than most other Pikachus I see. Yeah, like even, jeez, um, uh, Jopone um, and other, there's not many tri-state Pikachus, but other ones try and emulate like DM and ESAM and those yeah. kind of players who just go hard all the time. Mouse Rat kind of developed his own style, which is cool, but it may not be the best for fighting Snake specifically. Yeah, no, definitely not. Snake, Snake is... Oh my god. Alright, yeah, he just, he's really feeling himself, my son. Trying to see what makes up he's get. Yeah. I had a feeling he was going to roll back. He's, I think Sensei was two for two. So a thing that it's like the type of people that like are off on down throw. There's people who, if they get punished off the two or three options they pick, they just don't do it again. And I've played Mouse Track a few times that if you punish, like let's say he does Vogel, you punish it, then just get up attack. He's gonna opt for the the other option when it's not a bad thing, but you know. It, it, it is still a 50-50, just because he punched that first option doesn't that mean, you know, in a certain position that option will be better on the, the next down throw. Yeah, it's... Oh, gee, what oh, are these fairs? <laughs> yeah, he's really doing a good job just jumping over everything with the forward air. I'm about to take notes, no cap. <laughs> I guess he's trying to read a beer verse. Goes for the yeah, down throw. Yeah, oh, he's trying to read that. the weight. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's that's the that's that next level. If you reading weights, that's how I know you on the next level uh, type of time. It's it, it's like the common counterplay, right? Where Wait, uh, where it's like not common counterplay, but you look and it's like, man, he's been reading my immediate options. What if I wait and see what he does and then pick the opposite? Yeah. And then Snake can just you know sit there up nice. there for it. Like, okay, so this is still a, it's still doable, but he's gonna have to make like that one disadvantage count, which you can versus Snake in his matchup. But you're gonna have to I was gonna say it all starts with one back air, but it was a little bit swell on that third one. No cap. He's probably gonna die anyway. So if he has to trade to just get some damage in, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It, I wouldn't say go ahead and just trade willy nilly, but it's it's weird oh, to first snake. Oh yeah. my god, he just went over. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Far left. F two is. Oh my god. It was far left of the stage, and you seen him all the way in the right. So I mean, I, I still thought he was gonna be dead. So it makes sense. Me too. Yeah. To be honest, that move is strong. It's not strong. It's strong. Snake, snake, F tilt, man. I. People complain about up tilt, and up tilt's egregious, but that frame four F tilt, man. Oh. 
Yeah. Uh, Nate Norman was our wild. I don't know. High T1. opinion of Snake over here. I, uh, well, I mean, Snake is lit. It's and then you get thrown in the air good. and then it's not lit no more. That's what always like weirded me out about uh, about like Sensei Snake is that he jumps so yeah no nah, that that's pretty good like, he he goes air to air so often and the, and it, which like can either give him these clips or it can either get him like anti aired all the time like against King Ant. yeah um jumping you know I feel like that's something like a lot of the new, I guess like the newer snakes I guess I would say have like kind of mastered in neutral they like, like they like to like jump a lot it, it's 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 weird are you tend the i feel like the the older style snakes tend to be a lot more grounded so it's definitely interesting seeing like what options open up when you like jump in neutral but it's like you said it could go south or it could not it's just like one of those things that you just gotta do and see if your opponent takes advantage of it yeah. It just kind of fits Snake's whole MO. Like, he's such a high risk, high reward yeah. character in nature where he can just mess you up or get destroyed. Nice. Mm. Yeah, so I think Pikachu's just way too short to get hit by that. I don't think a lot of people get hit by that. But, like, on a lot of the shorter characters. Nice. Covering options. Yeah, the active hitbox of Quick Attack is kind of, in most of the time, it's way better than Pichu's agility. But by being just able to run into grenades by yeah. any means, that's another thing. I feel asshole. like those back airs, like of um, Cypher, you should just only really be going for down airs or your up beat. There's no point in doing back air or Lucha Bay on Snake Cypher. Yeah, he's gonna armor right through it. You're just gonna put yourself in a bad position if it's not gonna knock him out of cypher it's just better to just stay on the stage to get to stay up with stage control don't try to go out there to hit him not even be on cypher and then could possibly take a counter attack i feel like he's been that sucks oh, no. i feel like that's been happening a lot once a set that was his one <laughs> attack. i would just run off over there oh <laughs> well he's listening to you <laughs> Looney's mic'd in? He's mic'd into something? Uh, uh, but it, it, at that point, it's like, you might as well just try to close it out. You look at high damage anyway. Well, that's, that was an unfortunate D. I feel like Montreal was playing a little bit better and then just got smoked. That kind of sucked. But let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Look. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, just like that. Wow, he that was died. A, I, I kind of just lost track of how Snake got in that bad position. What just happened? Like, he's like air dodge for what reason? Yeah, he was uh, buffering. He was either buffering tech away or he air, was air dodging from stage to ledge for whatever reason and okay. he missed ledge. So. That's unfortunate. Turn around up to it. Oh, nice. We need to get out of there. Trading in this matchup, like, is just so whack for Pikachu. That's one of the reasons why. I feel like it's very even because Pikachu has these like very strings that they're not like really true combos and he has to trade and that's like the last thing Pikachu wants to do that's that. Yeah, mid stage. That was that was good from both players. Definitely feel like uh I don't like I don't wanna say I I'm not trying to like this mouse but I definitely feel like this is more of a misplay rather than like him getting totally outplayed. I just feel like he wasn't like paying attention enough to like how to take care of that snake's disadvantage or whatnot and just wasn't making his exchanges count yeah, especially since sensei was going low a lot more than he was going high like i feel like that's such like, pikachu can dare that every day yeah but it, it's in this matchup it's kind of like you kind of just have to get you get a feel for when you have to go low or high because he has answers for both so you don't always right. want to go super high and you don't always want to go super low it just depends like so him going low is just the worst thing in this matchup uh, that sweet spot for me is like fake going the high and then like dropping off early and then trying to land that way you kind of 
you know, mix it up a little bit rather than just going straight low or straight high. That thunder was a good catch, though. Really brought brought this game closer than it yeah, initially, than it initially seemed. seemed. Yeah.